This is awesome. Isn't it? Absolutely. Corey's checking out one of the coolest and the most unusual planes in the world. Yep, the NASA Super Guppy plane at Mesa <laughs> Gateway. Who even thought this thing up, Corey? Look at that thing. I know. That's what I always think. Who, what fever dream or what drunken bender brought this idea on? But it's, it's a fascinating design, of course. Uh, there aren't many like it. In fact, this is the only Super Guppy that's left flying. Uh, they're pressurizing something inside there right now, so we apologize for the uh, heavy noise. Uh, but it's here in town now. It's on its way back from California. Its payload is the heat shield for the Orion satellite or the rocket that boosts the Orion uh, satellite into orbit. Uh, they were doing some testing in California, and now they're on their way back. Ryan Smith is with us. Ryan, this must be a thrill for everybody here at the airport. You're the uh, communications director here at uh, Phoenix Mesa Gateway, and it must be a thrill to see this aircraft come in every time. We love to welcome the guppy. It always gets a big crowd out here, and, and uh, kids come in, and even those that work here at the airport, we love it. It's, we all come out of our offices because there's really no, no other plane like this. And uh, as you were telling me earlier, this is really about the, on the only one left flying. Is that right? This is it. When, uh, when they have a part that breaks down, they have to go find uh, other airplane parts from, from different th uh, airplanes that have broken down in our graveyard. And, and they, they kind of put this thing together. But the engineers at NASA are pretty smart that way. Well, I, I assume just by its design, anyone could tell that it's made to carry enormous things. I've seen video of the nose of the space shuttle back when the shuttle was flying being pushed right into this aircraft. It's impressive. Yeah, the front of the nose of the aircraft actually opens up on a, on a big hinge and they can literally uh, put anything up to 100, uh, 100 feet long or 25 feet tall into it. Well, tell me a little bit more about its particular payload, the, the pathway for this heat shield. What What's its purpose and where has it been? So what they do is it's it's uh, it's designed and, and held in Colorado, but what they have to do is they have to do heat testing. So they they ship it down here, they refuel here at Gateway, and then head up to uh, Mountain View, California, where they uh, they heat test it, put it in an oven for seven days to make sure that it's not going to burn up uh, on its way to space, and then ship it back and and put it on the on the rocket. Very good. Well, thanks. We appreciate it, Ryan. Next time we get together, you guys. We're trying to get, try to get inside the guppy and see oh, what it's like to fly awesome. this thing. And uh, we'll hopefully carry the takeoff live for you around 9 o'clock. So we'll see you soon. Take, take us uh, through this, Corey. I can't imagine it's easy to get this thing up in the air. Well, you know, that's a good question. It's got four huge uh, prop engines or turbo props. And I have a feeling that uh, it's probably quite a long pull to get it up into the air. But these are guys who are going to know what's going on. Look at their handsome faces. Come on up here, fellas. Yeah, all in a, all in a crowd. Uh, your name is John, John right? Yes. And introduce the crowd over here. This is Rev. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Kevin. And this is Corey. They're, Corey, how do you spell it? C-O-R-E-Y. The Dang right, it. The right way to spell it. Yeah, my mom was too lazy to put the E in. That's my problem. Well, you guys have seen this guppy, super guppy takeoff before, right? Yes. Does it, is it a long, long uh, run to get it up in the air, or is it surprisingly it's short? A, it's a long process, and it'll take off, and the nose will be the last thing off the ground, the nose wheel. It's really? weird. It's weird how it lands yeah. and takes off, yes. Wow. It's and, uh, I can't believe the crowd that it attracts. There's something yeah. so unusual about this plane. Uh, what do you, this has got to be different, even for you guys. You've seen everything, right? We have seen everything here. This is different, but this is the only Super Guppy left in the world that still flies. Yeah. There's only four made, I believe, and this is the only one left flying. Very good. And uh, how long have you been in the aircraft business, friend? Forty years. Boy, 40 years, and uh, all of that in Arizona, or have you been all about? No, all about. Started in the military. Oh, very good. Well, thanks for keeping us safe. We appreciate that. Well, next time we get together, guys, uh, again, the Super Guppy is taxiing now, getting itself into its uh, takeoff position. But uh, we'll try to dip back into the show when uh, she actually takes flight. It'll be a beautiful thing to see, and yeah. uh, uh, we'll interrupt you whenever that comes on. We'll let you know. Right. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to see the Super Guppy fly, we're going to show it to you live. So it's, it takes a while.
Uh, let's get back out uh, to the airport out east. And the Super Guppy, wow, they got that engine turning around in a hurry, Cor. How about that, brother? Yeah, they just needed to get off the runway, get it spun up, and make sure it was cool. And now here we go. We're about to lift off, and we're airborne. Look at this thing. Wow. Who would believe that it can even fly? <laughs> there it goes. That is an unlikely aircraft, is it not? The last of its kind, but designed right, to Corey? hold. Yes, it's the last uh, flying Super Guppy. There is one in the museum, uh, the Pima Air and Space Museum down Tucson Way, and uh, they've actually pulled parts from that aircraft to keep this one airborne. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they've been pirating uh, parts from uh, their unused ship. But it's always a thrill when it gets to town, and every once in a while it comes through. They like landing here, Troy and Andrew, because the runways are so very long mm. and so much wide open airspace out here in Mesa. Not a ton of traffic, not as busy as Deer Valley or, uh, or certainly Sky Harbor. And so it's a nice, easy in and out. Plus, they all get to eat over there at the uh, Barrio Cafe. Oh, Which sure. everybody That's loves. They just opened a cool restaurant there a while ago. Yeah, it is. Uh, even for the locals, they're all. We were here to open up that restaurant or to help uh, show it off a couple of months ago. And um, anyway, it's been a great morning out here. Tell I us again, you Corey, could, uh, quickly yeah, what it's this. carrying. This why yeah. why it had to be here because it's on a. It's not just here on an well, ambassador mission. I mean, it was it was carrying a piece of uh, equipment, right? Correct? Right, uh, carrying a, what we're told is a heat shield, for. Someday they plan to once again, we're told, drop humans back to Earth in a capsule. So they've been testing out this new heat shield. It's called the Orion. And um, the testing was done in Colorado. And they're on their way back east, I believe, to Texas now. That's their next stop. But, uh, and that's not, that may be to pick up more or another larger piece of equipment. Uh, but it's capable. Of carrying, I think about 25 tons or so wow. of uh, of payload, uh, which doesn't <laughs> for those four engines. I'm always fascinated. That anything can get up in the air, but uh, uh, with the size of that uh, nose, it's pretty impressive. Boy, look at it. It's well, we've got a helicopter and a, a private plane, and now the guppy in between. If you can see them out there, and uh, really, uh, she sure is heading to east. So, oh, there you hello, go, Texas. Nice shot. Who's on camera there, Corey? Yeah, That's Tom Fergus. Oh, Tom Fergus on the camera, by the way. The great Tom's Tom Fergus. Aces and uh, yeah, it looks like he'll, a guppy. He'll be putting up his uh, Instagram photos. I know, doesn't it though? <laughs> That's amazing. All right, good stuff, buddy. All morning long. Appreciate it. Nice work.